Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about one of the greatest things for the Android device and that is a free Game Boy Advance emulator. Now this emulator is simply amazing. You can play almost any Game Boy Advance game and Game Boy game right on your device from portrait mode to landscape mode and you get to save. This of course is the free version. There is a paid version um, which does more and Let's take a look at the free version versus the paid version. Alright, so this free version, you can save and load with the game's built-in save uh, capability, which is accessible within the game, but not from the emulator's menu. Now with the full version, you can save anywhere, fast forward, and do a bunch of other stuff that is outside of the game. Or I guess it's outside of what you normally play. And there is cheats and all that. You can buy the emulator, the I think it's the pro version, and this is the regular free version. Now as you can see, we are here with the... Okay, so we are here with the emulator. And what happens is how, how you actually play Game Boy Advance games or other any other Game Boy game is you actually need to get the ROM. And you can get the ROM off Google and all the, those other stuff. And the good thing is you get to run it in the zip file format or the GBA format. Now we have some games here. I think the most popular one that everybody knows is probably uh, Pokemon. So let's take a bit a look at Pokemon um, Red. We're going to run the zip file. And as you can see, this is landscape mode. And I'm just going to try out the portrait mode so everyone will see. And this is portrait mode. Now, landscape mode is much better. It plays very well. But the touch screen doesn't work. Um, it doesn't work like... You still have to follow the pads, the game pads on the screen. It doesn't work as in, you know, you can touch anywhere you want. It's really smooth. It's awesome, I mean... If you like Game Boy games, then this is probably one emulator you want to have on your Android device. Now, of course, uh, this is the common Pokemon kind of beginning, and I guess you're going to go to Professor Oak, if you remember playing this game. Let's take a look at some of the Pokemons. Okay, so those are the Pokeballs. And there's Gary. Alright, I'm not going to play too much here, but you can log out any time on the left side and go to close and then close it. And what we're going to do is try out another game. Um, let's try out this one. So this is Dragon Ball. So Game Boy's games do take a pretty long time to load. Because uh, it is one of the older type of games. The graphics aren't awesome. I mean, some people are probably wondering, why would you want to play Game Boy games anyway? Well, one of the things about apps is that, you know, apps have in-app purchases, and usually that kind of degrades the game because players, well, developers want you to buy stuff. But these Game Boy games are made in a way where you, you can absolutely beat the game without any purchases. Alright, we're not going to go too far in there either. And we're going to look at some other common games. Just, just to see how they run. I think one of them is Zelda. Let's take a look at Zelda. Nintendo and Capcom. Diminish Cup. 
So you can select your languages and whatever you want. Well, I guess this is starting new. I think we went into wrong place. As you can see, it has the similar uh, Game Boy Advance graphics, but the screen is wider, so you'll see more pixelation compared to the original Game Boy Advance, where uh, it's created, the screen is pretty small, so you won't see that many pixelation. Alright, it, it's just loading the beginning, I don't want to kind of watch that, so let's dive out of there. And I guess we should look at Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is, back in this day, was one of the best graphics game on the device. So this is by Square. Back in the day, Square was a huge RPG. Uh, I don't know, it, they were like famous. Well, they, they're still famous, except it's not, you know, they're not that popular. So if you play Kingdom Hearts on your uh, Game Boy Advance, and this is probably one game you want. But other than that, the emulator is pretty good. It's smooth. There's no lag. There's no problems. Uh, it's pretty good. And you can check it out in your App Store. Um, under You just have to look up Game Boy Advance. Look for the My Boy. My Boy Free. GBA emulator. Anyways, that is all. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful and, you know, this app to be a good app. Then, you know, you, you can have something for your device.